Hey, I've got a little pre-E3 world premiere introducing a new scam that I think some of you watching may have fallen for and don't even realize it. It's a game called The Day Before. It's the number one most wishlist game on Steam. It had a lot of hype around it. It's a zombie shooter. It's supposed to be like a DayZ inspired game. But it seems like the reality is the game is inspired by Logan Paul's Crypto Zoo because it doesn't actually exist. At least... That's the leading theory. So this game was on everyone's radar for a while, but then with a lot of development hiccups, a lot of people just haven't really kept up aside from the hardcore fanatics and the enthusiasts that are looking forward to the game. But they've started to notice a lot of really peculiar shit going on with the company behind it, a company called Fantastic. Now they do actually have a completed game under their belt, but... What's very interesting about the day before situation is everything they've shown is pre-rendered, it's not actual gameplay, and every time that they hype up gameplay like right around the corner, it doesn't come. They always have a bunch of excuses like, you know, copyright disputes or, you know, something's gone wrong, my dog ate my files so we couldn't show the gameplay today. They always have an excuse for why they haven't shown gameplay and they've been stringing, ar stringing along the community for a long time now. However, yesterday they finally did release 10 minutes of gameplay. And man, what a stinker. To me personally, this has kind of confirmed what I've also believed, that the game didn't actually exist until very recently where they haphazardly threw this jumbled mess of a presentation together just to prove that there is something tangible. So I'm going to go over everything here. I'm going to show you it from stream where I broke it all down. But there's also some great videos that cover it, such as this channel here that goes really in-depth on it. So I'm going to put a link to them in the description if you want more info. I'll quickly try and address and answer the question I know you're asking yourself right now. Why would they fake this game? What is there to gain from it? And I don't have the answer. I have no fucking clue. Really, nobody does. All we can do is speculate. Because it's not like they're making money off of it. It's not a crowdfunded project. It's free to wish list. So it's not like they're taking in money from the community through presenting a product that's not real. So I don't know. But there's so much weird shit with it. It's hard to actually imagine that there is a team of developers that are making the game that they've been showing the pre-rendered shit for. It, it just it, it doesn't compute. So I'm going to show you everything and you can make your own mind up on whether or not the game is real or at least has been real prior to the 10 minutes that they've shown today and uh it's just a wild situation so this game turned out to be real uh i wouldn't say that for those that don't know the situation the day before is a painfully generic looking zombie shooter that had a lot of hype it's the number one wishlisted game on steam uh, but all they've ever shown is pre-recorded pre-rendered content and every time they're like here comes the big gameplay reveal they end up postponing it. So if you go to their developer page, which is fantastic, you're gonna see all kinds of missed deadlines and empty promises that never followed on, followed up with, such as like release date, never happened, mega event, event never happened, gameplay, not gameplay, still pre-rendered. And they just kept placating, stalling, pushing it, kicking the ball further down the field. All the while people started to get skeptical if the game's even real. Fast forward to yesterday, after many numerous delays and many scapegoats such as like a, a copyright dispute and all kinds of wacky wild webs, it's like an absolute fucking mess of an anime plotline, they finally drop a 10 minute gameplay trailer and I'll show you some of it. It is a disaster. I think it is very clear, and I think you will also find it very obvious that what they've thrown together here is something they cooked up over the last couple weeks due to mounting pressure. It is literally a jogging simulator through an empty world with only four zombies being shown. And I can't recall them even firing on the zombies. They might, I don't remember. But even still, all they show is four zombies on screen across the 10 minutes and everything else is jogging and like actual placeholder stock images for items. It's an absolute shit show. And I already see people asking, and this is the same thing I asked when I first got made aware of the situation, why would they fake a game? I have no fucking idea. I have no idea why they would fake a game. I don't know what there is to gain from it unless they're defrauding investors, but it's not crowdfunded. Wishlisting the game on Steam is free, so they're not making money off fans. I don't know.
Maybe they just want it to seem cool. They use it to flirt with girls at a bar. Like, hey, I'm developing the day before. You like zombies? Check this shit out. But here. I'll take you in. Money laundering? I think people really don't understand exactly how money laundering works. This wouldn't be money laundering. This would just be money tying up. It'd be money spending. When you launder money, you need to clean it and get it back. They're not getting it back. Yeah, I hope you really like watching this kind of gameplay because this is all it is. <laughs> Legitimately all it fucking is. It's more like I am legend than a, anything else. Just Will Smith going about his day casually in the beginning of the movie. Love the free Facebook royalty-free music. Love that. Elevator tunes. That department store jingle. I think the game is real, they're just bad at management. I just don't. I, like, this convinced me even more so than anything else that the game isn't real. This seems like such a rushed job just to present something. Because no developer in their right mind, even developers that are, like, truly delusional, like, high on their own farts, way up their own ass, not even they would think this is a good presentation for their upcoming product. Because it shows nothing. There's no fucking zombies. And like all of this, we have seen this exact UI in Steam asset flips that I've played. The bad Steam game, the bad game nights. We have seen this exact fucking UI in everything. It just feels like they threw this together as quickly as they possibly fucking could. Because maybe they're at risk at being investigated or something, I, I don't know. They hyped this up as the gameplay extravaganza. True, yes. This had fucking months of hype. This was their big bomb. This was their E3. And this is what they're showing. The game is not fucking real. Also, there is absolutely no texture on anything, by the way. Like, her skin just looks like flat colored noodles. Phone game ad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so they do shoot some. Damn, that was fucking innovative. That was crazy. Okay, that was epic. How do I pre-order? Oh, don't worry. I'm sure they're going to release some kind of pre-order functionality soon. I mean, and you can see where the money goes. This is looking incredible. Finally, a zombie game to redefine the genre. It's like a shitty version of The Division. It's like a shitty version of any game that's ever existed. There is nothing. And compare this to the first gameplay trailer they showed. Which is, again, not real gameplay, even though it's kind of presented as such. It's clear that they never actually made that game. Never even had that game. They never had their car. Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. You're lucky you didn't blow the welds off the intake. Did they actually make the environment because it's well modeled? Our threshold for well modeled must be very different. So when I think of a game that, would, that had this level of hype in their early gameplay trailer having that level of polish, when I see the actual game and I look at these things and it's blurry textures that still have absolutely no detail on them, that screams laziness. Like, I certainly wouldn't say that it's well modeled. It seems like it's haphazardly thrown together. Looks fine to me. If it, if it, here. To, to be fair to uh, the three people employed at this company that threw this together as like a last minute homework assignment, to be fair to them, if they released this on Steam new releases, I'd be like, oh, this looks fine. This doesn't look terrible. But what they showed here, and I'll pull it up, what they initially showed for this game was a whole different level. And it's not even comparable. Where's their initial? Oh, here. Someone did a direct comparison already. There, here, here. Thank you. This is what I was looking for. Up. Yep. I'll find out what's in the skyscraper. Okay, and I'll look around here. No, I didn't see that at all, but RTX yeah, off for real. Right. And there aren't any more guns in the <laughs> True. Town. But I mean, do I even need to continue it? Like, you can clearly see that this is not something they ever actually fucking made. Right? Like, we can all agree 
if you, if you hadn't seen this announcement trailer, I think now it should be much more clear. Like, I don't need to keep rubbing your nose in it. I'll let this continue because it's so comical in comparison. But yeah, it, this is very much thrown together as quickly as possible. That's cute. I mean, that's just kind of adorable. What are you supposed to do in this game? I don't know. Feel remorse for ever being excited for it? I don't- I really don't know. But again, I, I also just don't think it's ever coming out. I've said that about four games now, I think. <laughs> Three of them have come out. One of them was a disaster. The other two were fine. But this one is legitimately something that just doesn't exist. They threw this together super quick just because of mounting pressure. 100%. You see the Grammys are going to have a video game soundtrack as a category? That's cool. Still won't get me to watch, but that's cool. I'm sure that'll mean a lot to uh, developers and the artists. I just don't really care too much about the Grammys in general. Damn it, it was just popping off, too. The day before, November 10th, 2023. That is the absolute, that is 100% the same guy that does the Monster Jam announcements back in the day. M -m 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 monster Jam! Coming to the Raymond James. Pretty cool, though. 